Ooh, she ready? Okay dolls, I gotta go on for you today. This video is sponsored by Door Hair. This is their eight inch water wave glueless lace front unit. As you can see, the knots on this unit does not come bleached. So I went ahead and bleached the knots. At this point, you guys should all know how to bleach the knots. It is an essential part of laying your lace fronts. If you're still unfamiliar with how to bleach your knots, I got an easy tutorial for you to follow. I'll be sure to list that in the eye above as well as in the description box down below. So I went ahead and co-washed this unit because that's what I like to do to all my curly wigs. And as you can see, the curls on this wig is popping. As you can see, this unit does come pre-plugged, but as always, I decided to just pluck the front just a little bit more. It, this unit didn't really require too much plucking, but I do like to pluck my units just to give it more of a customized look and feel. However, this step is completely optional. Next, I'm just using my water and my foaming mousse to help mold and shape the hair. I also used some of my Cantu Shea Butter. I didn't get that on film, but I will have that linked in the description box down below. And then lastly, I went over the curls with my diffuser to help dry the curls in place. Okay, doll, so now the hair is dried. You know, that was the first time I ever used a diffuser. And it's kind of cool because it's like the positive and the negative ions that are inside of the fuser supercharges and it causes the hair to dry quick and as well as keep its curls. Now I'm totally making this up, but I heard if you say things with confidence, people believe you. Tell me if you did. <laughs> no, but seriously, I never use. <laughs> I've never used a diffuser before, but it was kind of cool. Um, and it did dry and leave my hair curly. The inside is a little bit wet, but I'm gonna ignore that and get ready to install it. So I just wanted to show you guys this hairline afterwards. And I'm actually liking the way it dries so far. Let's see if it, it looks as good once I glue it down. You may notice that I go in between cutting the lace with my scissors or my eyebrow razor. And honestly, they both do the job fine. The eyebrow razor gives more of a jagged cut. However, the scissors do allow me to have more precise cut closer to the lace. Now, this wig did come with two hair clips as well as an elastic band. I will most likely sew the elastic band on just so I could wear it glueless because I typically like to wear my units glueless. In consideration of time, I'm going to go ahead and use my got to be glue spray and spray this down really quickly. gonna tie this down with my elastic band for about five minutes just to get that glue to melt in okay so let me go ahead and lay a little bit of baby hairs just in the front not too much
with just a little bit of Garnier Sleek and Shine. Yes, sis. I am feeling her. And she's super beginner friendly. Y'all saw it didn't take me much to um, style this. It really just comes pre-styled. And I washed and conditioned it and it still kind of bounced right back into place. I do want to try and cut the sides down, but I'm going to do that after the video just in case I mess it up. <laughs> If you guys follow me on my Instagram, I'm going to be sure to post the picture of how it looks after I cut it. I'm feeling her. What y'all think? Y'all like this? So dolls, and let me give you the specs on this unit really quick. As I mentioned, this unit is from Dog Hair. This is their 13 by 6 lace front. That means you have a whole lot of parting space up here. That means the part's going to go all the way back 6 inches and it's going to come across on the side. They call this a body wave, but these curls are tighter than a body wave. But they call it a body wave. And I do believe this unit comes in just under $100. And I do have a coupon code for you guys to save you 5%. I'll go ahead and put that across the screen as well as in the description box down below. I think she is really cute. She kind of reminds me of another unit I reviewed. But I like units like this because they're a little different from the norm. They're not like the average bob. And it's super beginner friendly. It doesn't require any maintenance. You guys know I don't like doing work. So anything I could just throw on and go. I'm with it. So dolls, if you're interested in purchasing this unit, I'll be sure to include all the information in the description box down below. And dolls, I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week. The new name as well as the person who submitted that name will be listed right here. Guys, you know before we get out of here, I'm gonna need y'all help naming this beauty. What we gonna call her? She is so cute. Go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. And if you're not part of the Faithful fam, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave and join the family. And dolls, is always important. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.